What's happening guys, it's Dan from General Tech HQ here and today in this video I'm going to be helping you gauge an idea of how small the Apple iPod Shuffle actually is. I hope you enjoy. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So this really is the same story for loads of products online. I mean, you'll go and look at images and videos, but you can never really understand and imagine how small or big the item is. So today we're going to be using some familiar objects and some stats to try and help you gauge an idea of how small this Apple iPod Shuffle is. So if you're not sure what the iPod Shuffle is, the iPod Shuffle is probably Apple's most affordable device. It does not have a screen on it, but it does have two gigabytes of memory storage for music. And as the name suggests, it shuffles through your music and it is ideal for the gym and sports. Of course, the main attraction to it is that it is so small and light. Okay, so here it is in my hand and you can see how small it is there. Just having a look round. Also very, very thin, and I can obviously tell you that it is extremely light, but let's look at some specific stats right now. Okay, so the Apple iPod Shuffle comes in at a height of 29 millimeters, or 1.14 inches. It also features a similar width along the bottom there and top of 31.6 millimeters, or 1.24 inches, and because they're so close, it kind of gives the iPod Shuffle a square look. In terms of depth, it comes in at 8.7 millimeters or 0.34 inches including the clip at the back and of course you cannot visually see weight but I can confirm to you that it comes in at an amazing 12.5 grams or 0.44 ounces which is just incredibly light okay so all the stats out of the way let's actually see how small this really is so it only seems right to start this comparison off with another iPod and what better iPod than my first ever iPod and this was the iPod Nano from 2006 it still works today I still use it today and I got that for Christmas so a really nice memory there the next iPod has to come in going even further back one of the iPod classics let's fast forward many many years to 2014 with the iPhone 6. So of course next up is the iPad mini. You can see there and if we can even fit it in the uh, classic sized iPad right there. Actually I don't think that's gonna fit in. So anyway I've got rid of those random devices now and we are now left with probably and hopefully a very familiar size and shape of the iPhone 6 compared to the iPod Shuffle. You can see there it really does look very very small in comparison because it is, it's just tiny. And finally another classic to compare it to is the Rubik's Cube and this may seem quite random but I can almost guarantee that everyone has a Rubik's Cube somewhere around the house and you can really gauge an idea of how small it is up against here. Very, very small. So for pretty much this whole video, my camera's been on full zoom, so let's get back to that so we can actually see the shuffle. Um, but yeah, I hope from this video you've been able to gauge the actual size of it and how small it is. If you have and you've enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up so I know it's helped. And of course, subscribe here at General Tech HQ for lots more tech-related videos coming very, very soon. Anyway, guys, have a great day.